Check, check, one, two, three. Check, check, one, two, three. This is me vlogging out in public with the Canon G7X Mark II. No, Mark III. What's up with that? What's up, guys? Sean here. So today, I've got a really, really awesome camera to show you guys. This is the Canon G7X Mark III. It is probably the coolest little vlogging camera I've ever had. Um, it's tiny, it fits in my pocket. Um, it has, as you can see, it doesn't have um, interchangeable lenses, it just has a collapsing lens. Um, so that makes it very pocketable. Um, it has a little flip lens. But the coolest thing about it well, there's two cool things. The coolest thing about it is it's 4K uncropped. The second coolest thing about it is this amazing little tripod. Um, I got the creator's kit. Um, it comes in this beautiful box. As you can see, I've already taken it out of the box, but let's show you a video of when I took it out of the box. Let's start with that.
There's no denying what we want There's no denying what we want Playing games, no There's no denying what we want There's no denying what we want Playing games, no There's no denying what we want Alright guys, let's talk about everything that you get in the Creator Kit. Um, so first of all, we get the, ca the camera. Um, we get this awesome tripod handheld thing that I, the whole, this is the whole reason I bought this kit, is for this, this tripod. Um, when I saw this tripod at Best Buy, I was like, what is that thing? Um, and uh, I asked if I could buy it by itself and I couldn't and the only way to get it was to get this camera and then I realized that I really wanted the camera too so this tripod has um, just like every other tripod so it's it's the nice nice grip for big hands okay so I've had a lot of selfie sticks this has a little place for your finger it has a little shutter button so you can hold it um, it's got a little beautiful press button that you can change um, the uh, angle and like literally I could do a whole video on this friggin tripod. Um, it's got a place for the remote control. It's got a really easy in and out where you can stick your finger in this hole and pull it out really nice. It's got autofocus, uh, it's got zoom, and it's got a shutter button on the remote control. So that's pretty awesome. Um, and then it has this adapter, um, and this will go in this direction. It'll also go in this direction. And what it is, is it's a cold shoe mount that snaps into it. So you can put your camera in here, snap this in, and then you've got a place to put your microphone. So let's say you've got your Rode Wireless Go. Um, so that's cool. And then it even has this little extra adapter that has all kinds of cool stuff going on. So it's got, on this end, it's got a cold shoe on the bottom, a cold shoe on the top. Um, well, maybe a cold shoe. I'm pretty sure it's a cold shoe. And then this has an adapter that slides into here. So check this out. So I can slide this right into here. And all of a sudden, I have a cold shoe on top and a cold shoe on bottom. Or if I want to do this, then I've got a cold shoe on the left, a cold shoe on the right, and a cold shoe on the bottom. So super versatile little tripod. So let's get that out of the screen. And then let's get these things out of the way. So you saw me put a battery in the camera. Um, it comes with an extra battery, um, which is awesome. So we can put that aside. This is a strap for the camera. I don't really use straps, um, and then this is a strap for the selfie stick, which I might put a strap on, uh, just so I can have the grip, you know, wrapped around my wrist. Okay. Um, and then this is the SD card, so let's put the SD card in the camera. So the SD card goes in the same slot as the battery. Push that down and lock it. Um, and this is different. F oh, and then this is the battery charger. Um, same kind of battery charger you always get with Canon cameras. Okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna zoom in and we're just gonna look at the camera real quick. All right. So the difference between this can camera and my Canon EOS M6 is the lens. So this is a fixed lens. It's a zoom lens, but it's, it's a lens that you can't take off of the camera. Um, a lot of the M series cameras that I've had in the past from Canon, you can um, put different uh, lenses on them. You can even adapt them to uh, EF, glass, all that kind of stuff. This does not have that option. This is basically, you get what you get. So you've got um, an 8.8 .8 to 36.8 millimeter lens um, and then you've got your 1 over 1.8 to 
um, f-stops so um, it's got a nice zoom ring on the side so if you're used to zooming in and out manually with um, a focus ring or not zooming well you can you can probably zoom and focus with this but I'm I will probably use it for focus it's got a nice metal quarter 20 on the bottom um, over on this side you've got your flash where you can pop your flash up um, it's great when cameras come with flashes <laughs> super excited about that um, and then it has a mic jack on this side uh, one thing that's awesome about this camera is it has a mic jack some of the other cameras of this size don't have a way to put an in external microphone into it so this one does have a mic jack um, my M6 does have a mic jack as well um, on this side, you've got a Wi-Fi button. Uh, this camera can actually live stream to YouTube by itself. So you don't even need um, like a computer if you want to just take this out and live stream. Um, it's kind of buggy from what I've seen other people do it, but I haven't tried it myself. So I can't say it's buggy based on other people's trials. Um, I'll do tests on my own and, and come up with my own um, ideas about that. It's got USB-C. Um, and it's got, looks like a micro HDMI. It might be a mini HDMI. I get those mixed up. Now, they've taken something from Sony. Sony has, for years, have had like this little orange. Let's see if you can get a good look at that. See the orange? It's got a beautiful little knob system. Um, so just like my M6, it's got the exposure. Um, compensation and then it's got you know just kind of your normal modes um, zoom is a left and right rocker sometimes that's pretty hard to get used to because you're used to you know if you zoom in you push the button going that way and if you zoom out you go this way um, but and then it's got a nice shutter button so you can do everything with this one finger on off button um, so yeah it's got this beautiful touchscreen, and we'll turn it on so you guys can see what the touchscreen looks like. Oh, we got to set the day and time. We'll do that a little later. But um, articulating touchscreen that can come out this far, and then it can go all the way up here. So if you wanted to vlog with it, one-handed vlogging, you can look at yourself. And what I love about this. Um, so I love and hate this, hated this on my M6. The reason I hate it is because the cold shoe is right on top of the camera. Cold shoe's not on the top of the camera this time. But I love this position of the screen. The screen's right above the lens. So I can look at the screen, check myself, and you guys won't even know that I'm checking myself. Whereas if the lens was over on this side or over here on this side, um, you guys would see me looking over to check my hair. <laughs> All right, guys, so now that you've seen me take it out of the box and um, I've shown you kind of close-up shots of the camera, um, we're gonna take it outside and do some in-the-field shots with it to conclude this video. Hope you guys like it. What's up, guys? So here we are in the car. This is kind of a controlled situation. Um, I decided to use the microphone from the camera in this situation just because I'm inside the car. Um, I wanted to do a good test, but it's kind of windy outside. Um, so this was this is probably the best thing that I could do um, for an inside shot. So right now, basically, I just have you guys on the vlog kit. Um, I have you sitting up on my dashboard. It took me literally 20 seconds to start shooting. Right now, I have you on the table um, using the the BR ETH-1 um, kind of remote uh, Canon tripod thing uh, for vloggers. That's pretty awesome. The Rode Wireless Go over to the right. And we're just checking this out. Now this camera has a tendency to overheat um, after 10 minutes. So I'm going to have to plan out my shots a little bit more using this camera. I shouldn't talk for more than um, probably 5 minutes at a time to make a video for you guys. Most of my videos are between 15 and 20 minutes. So if I split that up into 
several sections, then this camera should be able to do fine. Check, check, one, two, three. Check, check, one, two, three. This is me vlogging out in public with the Canon G7X Mark II. No, Mark III. What's up with that? So it is super loud. I can't even hear myself talk, guys. So let me know if we're in the shot. See if we can go. Yep, we're as wide as we can be. I think this is a pretty good shot. Um, we're overheating, so we're gonna walk back in this direction. Now I'm walking towards the light. So my face, so I shouldn't be as backlit as I was. Um, but yeah, I'm turning the camera sideways. That's pretty good stabilization, guys. For a run and gun vlogging camera, I think this is awesome. Totally awesome. And again, this shot took me about, this one took me about 15 to 20 seconds to set up because I had to set up a microphone. All right? So this is the walking loud sound test. Um, yeah, let me know what you think. All right, guys. So that was the Canon PowerShot G7X Mark III. Um, I think this is an awesome little camera. It's got a couple little features that aren't so fun. Um, if you remember the Sony cameras back in the day that used to overheat all the time, that this camera's got that feature. <laughs> um, anytime you cram 4K into such a tiny little package, um, it's going to have limits. Um, this one has a 10 minute limit on 4K, but it's got a lot of goodness in there. And so I'm gonna try not to talk as much so I can utilize this camera because I love the fact that it, I, it fits in such a tiny little bag that I can put in my backpack and keep it on me all the time, okay? Um, I love the handle. I love this little remote control that comes out. Super cool. Um, but yeah, hope you guys like this video. Please like, subscribe to my channel. Click on the bell for notifications when I put more videos about the G7X Mark III. Um, drones, action cameras, live streaming, all the good stuff, guys. Hope you have a wonderful day. Peace out. Thank you.